welcome back to another beautiful day here in sunny Colorado. We are in the end of June and I realize we haven't even done a summer vlog yet because we've been in quarantine and we've been kind of bored. But we are gonna film one today for you. So I've got my oldest, she went out horseback riding so she took the GoPro with her so hopefully she'll come back with some fun footage for that. I think Jason and I might go paddle boarding a little bit later but we'll have to kind of see how the weather goes. Um, but for right now we're gonna start off our day taking Bandit on a walk. Come hey, on, let's go. Seriously, we literally just left the class. house. <laughs> it's been like three seconds. <laughs> like 90 degrees out or something and we're all dying. <laughs> that was a really hot walk and so these guys are now just chilling on the cool floor. I don't know why you're chilling because um, you didn't go on a walk buddy but yeah this is what's happening right now. So we're making this movie. We've got mango and peach. What are you doing, mister? You're not supposed to be on the table. This is our resident moth killer right now. He kills and eats the moths. Good job, Jaxie. I also have a pile of fun stuff on my sewing desk here, getting ready to film a video, and maybe we'll do a little sneak peek of my new sewing room for you guys. So here are the birds. If you're new, they live in my sewing room, and they're probably gonna hide from the camera because it's been a while since I filmed them, but the green one is Kiwi and the blue one is Remy, and they're just two little parakeets, and they hang out in here. Their cage is always open, so they can fly, <clears throat> excuse me, up there. And then on this wall, I've got some cool Ikea pegboard where I keep some of my twine and all of my rulers and our um, weaving loom and my ukulele. And then of course, here's Bandit in his standard spot, hanging out, staring at the birds. And then Jax, who's actually not supposed to be in here because he will try and eat the birds. And then I did just get my sweet water box. These come out quarterly, but it came with some caramels, some little buttons, little tags, charm pack, and a fat quarter bundle from their new line. This one's called the Christmas card. And it's really cute. And then it looks like it also has this little printed panel. Printed panel. And then a couple of fun patterns. So I always look forward to getting their boxes. They're really cute. And then Katie is going to go over and keep the birdies quiet for me while we're showing you our room because otherwise they get really loud. But I moved my table right here so that it can kind of go against these windows so I can see outside. Um, I actually do really like it right there. It's kind of nice change. And then over here is my desk where I do all of my editing and all of that. The only thing I don't like about this setup is that this area right here is kind of tight. Um, I don't love it, but I'm going to live with it for a little while because I actually kind of like looking out the windows when I sew. And then I have a cute mini wall right here. All of my fabric, which you guys have probably all seen already. I've got my spinning wheel down there, Jax's bowl, some fiber I'm working on, my jelly roll rug. And then my sewing area, and of course my vintage glory quilt hanging up right now. And then we have our quilt ladder over here, which this one is my freedom quilt pattern. This one I think is Somerville by Bonnie and Camille. This is LaConnor Stars. It's a free one on Jared Brandvik's site. And then this one is one I did several years ago. This is a cherries and stars or flags quilt from uh, Farm Girl Vintage 2 book. So that is my new kind of updated sewing room. And then here's our 100,000 subscriber play button, which we actually just hit 200,000 subscribers. So that's awesome. And then my yarn wall over here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Sir, come here. come here. You need to leave the premises. No eating the birds today.
actually really nice outside. We're gonna get ready to go paddleboarding. They're so cute. There's like a couple ducks rolling by scaring them. There's three babies right there. Hi. Hi, babies. Okay, so that was super cool. Um, we've never seen any babies like that. Jason thinks they were how old? I don't know, not very old. Weak at the most. Yeah. Couple that, days. Yeah, that is so awesome. filming this fun tutorial for you guys this is like a zip around pouch I've had a lot of requests for one and so that's what we did today hopefully it'll be up um, if not before this video like next week you barely made it home in time <laughs> like literally on the second all right so everybody just got a haircut Jason just got a haircut Sam just got a haircut if you're curious it looks like this I don't know what brand it is because it doesn't say on here but it came with all of the attachments um, I also got some scissors and then Katie is up next we are cutting her hair. So it's this long, and I think we're gonna cut off about that much of it. You ready? Uh, I don't know, I'm scared. <laughs> she can do it. I don't know. All right. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> She's gonna regret this. We'll see. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. About three or so inches off. Looks cute. And after. I think you should go wash it. 
All right, so I forgot to finish our vlog last night because it's been so long. I literally forgot I was even vlogging, but we didn't do anything that exciting. I did haircuts for Jason, Sam, and Katie. Um, and then today we are heading to the track because there's not a whole lot of social distancing things we can do and everybody's been getting bored. So we thought it'd be fun to come to the track and ride the motorcycles in the 90 degree weather. I don't want this stuff all overblown. This bad boy. <laughs> Katie? Tired. Tired? Is it hot? Yeah. 